Welcome back, everyone. High tech thieves taking your money from your bank account using your ATM cards. Police are on the lookout for these men wanted for stealing more than half a million dollars from victims in the New York area. They placed a device called a skimmer on an ATM at this bank and installed a tiny overhead camera to record customers' PIN numbers. Here's a side by side of two ATMs, one with a skimmer and one without. The gadget is disguised as part of the ATM and is barely noticeable to the untrained eye. And they come in all shapes. This is another type of skimmer right here. So how do you prevent this from happening to you? Let's go out to Steve, who's going to show us exactly how this works and how to avoid it. That's all right, right, Steve. All right, uh, thanks very much, Gretch. Uh, this is Sean Seibel. Uh, Sean, you went to an ATM and you thought there was something suspicious. What happened? Yes, I went to an ATM and I dipped my card in the card slot and yeah. there was a little bit of resistance. And I realized that there was a false front on the card slot. So. Just, it wasn't the same color, it was something. No, it was actually the identical color. It was matching, it was undetectable by the eye, except I realized that there was two pieces. I realized that there was, you know, a, a public device it usually doesn't. It was loose. It was loose, it was a little loose. <laughs> and I just peeled off the front. It was attached right. by double-sided masking tape. Oh, that's crazy. And right up there, above the keypad was? There was a false mirror that had a pinhole camera inside of it looking down at the pin pad and recording everybody's pin pad activity. Oh, that is diabolical. So what did you do? You realized that was loose? There was I removed the both items. I, you turned, did? I turned them into the branch manager. The branch manager didn't know what they were. I explained to them what I thought they were from what Shouldn't I read. Shouldn't the branch manager know? Well, now she does. Uh, I guess so. All right. Glad you got it. Uh, this is Robert Siciliano. He is the CEO of IDTheftSecurity.com, right? Yes. All right. Now, uh, you got the machine here. Sean was great that he knew what, what he was doing there. Yeah. Uh, but this, this goes on how often? Well, it's a billion-dollar problem, and it's happening uh, all day, every day, and mm -hmm. scammers throughout the world are taking full advantage of the flaws in the system. Okay, so uh, Sean said that uh, the skimmer was the same color, but it was a little loose and stuck on there with double-sided tape. Right. Sometimes it's as obvious as that. Right. right? Well, this right here could be covered up, and they double-side uh, stick uh, a device like this. You slide your card through, and like Sean said, they have the uh, camera right here taking a picture of your PIN code, and next thing you know, you slide your camera, if you slide your card, they take a picture of your PIN code, and they have your information. Right. Uh, there's one thing. I Ever since these stories started coming out a, a year or two ago, I stopped using the little ones in the grocery store and only did the ones at the banks. Right. Now, this is the one in our our 20th century Fox building, but are the ones at the banks safe? Well, in, in his situation, uh, it was actually at the bank branch and they didn't know what was going on. So whether you're at the bank, you're at a convenience store or a gas station, you have to pay close attention and look for red flags. Look for two-sided tape. Look for something that might wiggle that you can pull it right so off. So it's okay to shake it. You'll still get your money out if it's real. Exactly. And if something doesn't look right, something doesn't seem right, then just walk away. Because that's exactly what Sean did. Did they wind up giving you, did they wind up catching the guy? They never told me. Ugh, that is crazy. Okay, so you got high tech style stuff right. like that, but low tech stuff as well because the economy is tough and there are a lot of bad guys out there. Yeah, we're in a recession right now and old fashioned scams are back. Check fraud is a billion dollar problem. Check washing is a huge problem. Pick up a Uniball pen at uniball.com to prevent check washing. What's check washing? Check washing is when they go through your mailbox, they take your checks out, they actually wash Wash off the a, a canceled check. Exactly. Or actually a pay to check. Okay. They wash out the pay to information. They put their own information in there, their own name, and they change the amount and they cash the check to themselves. You have just scared the living daylights out of a lot of people. So use a Uniball pen, you say. Exactly. All right. Interesting stuff. Robert, thank, we you. thank you very much. Sean, thank, thank you. you. Way to go. They should give you some sort of a, a reward or something. All right. Uh, Brian.